When we look at our nations, we see that we have come under the evil influence of demonic forces on all levels, even in our education system. People do not even know what a woman is anymore. Our nations were founded on godly principles. How can it be that the church is so powerless? How did the church even get here to begin with? It seems some people do not learn from past experiences. There are still many voices among Christian leaders today who tell us to roll up our sleeves and get busy when, in fact, churches have never been busier with all kinds of programs, seminars, and conferences. These programs often include outreach, things like love your city, free car wash in the name of Christ, and much more. But let's ask, has all this busyness with church activities advanced God's kingdom? The problem we are seeing with the Christian church is exactly the opposite from not busy enough. The church has become too busy to be still and know that Jesus is God, or to just sit at his feet like Mary did. Read Psalm 46.10 and Luke 10.39. In the second chapter of my 2003 prophetic book, Awakening the Sleeping Giant, The Church and the Road to Revival, I address the problem with taking control. The church hasn't failed because she isn't busy enough, but because she hasn't fully surrendered to Holy Spirit. We must decrease so that Holy Spirit can increase in us. As long as I am full of myself, there is not much room to be filled with Holy Spirit. The key is letting go and letting God, His Holy Spirit. After all, Jesus made very clear that without Him, His Holy Spirit, we can do nothing of eternal value. John 15:5. How much is nothing? Instead of totally surrendering, we have taken control and pushed aside the one who was sent to help and empower us. John 14, 26. If anyone could have done the job without Holy Spirit, it would have been Jesus' disciples. They walked with him. They saw all that he had done. And yet Jesus told them they needed a helper to do the job. Before Holy Spirit came, Peter denied Jesus three times. However, after he became Spirit-filled, 3,000 people got saved when he preached a very basic message. Acts 2.41 We must remember that Peter was just a simple fisherman, not a psychologist, theologian, or motivational speaker. It is when we truly surrender all that we are and all that we have to Jesus Christ that he can use us in the most incredible way. Give yourself to him and he will give you the desires he puts in your heart. Here are some quotes from Awakening the Sleeping Giant, The Church and the Road to Revival. The implementation of strategies and programs may give us a sense of accomplishment and success, but really the only thing that will bring empowerment and victory to God's people is the transforming presence of his manifest glory in the church. Eager performance often hinders us from sitting at Jesus' feet waiting patiently on the Lord with quiet contentment, allowing God's plans to unfold in His timing, seems to be one of our greatest challenges. Our relationship with Jesus Christ is a heart issue, not a head issue. End quotes. Surrender all to Jesus, then you will be empowered to do whatever He asks you to do. Amen. Below is a link to one of my songs.